Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we're gonna start with a Jay Cutler physique update, actually a quad stomp, which is Jay Cutler's signature pose that he did back in 2009, as you can see right here in the video, which became the most iconic photos of bodybuilders ever. And uh, this is him right now, 2021. At the age of 48, guys, Jay Cutler is 48 years old, and this is what he looks like. He still has quite a lot of muscle actually he did not downsize like so many other bodybuilders why is it because he's still eating a lot or is it because he's still on gear and the others that uh, that, that lost all their gains like dennis wolf are completely off i don't know what's the reason i don't know if he's trying i feel like it's mainly genetic because jay cutler was always a big guy a big dude he always had those wide super big shoulders and now when he's retired, I don't think he needs to try so hard to maintain the size. I mean, yeah, sure, it's hard to maintain the size that he had because he was absolutely enormous. He cannot do that. But let's say he's on TRT, like 200 mix of tests a week and nothing else. And he's eating a couple of meals, like sometimes two, three, sometimes four, five. That's what he says, actually. I heard him talk about that. If he does that, I think that is enough for him to maintain this kind of look. So as you can see, the legs did not atrophy, not calves, not quads, no, his legs are big still, and that's that's rare, usually bodybuilders, when they retire, when they get older, not just when they retire, even the ones who compete but are a little bit long in the tooth, they start to lose the legs, they start to fade in that area, but Jay Cutler retired, I don't know how hard is he training his legs, but he still has a lot of mass in those quadriceps, and he was known for having crazy details, and he kept them, he still has them. This is not a small leg, guys, I mean, compared to what it once was, of course, it's much smaller, but for an average gym goer who's on TRT, you know, at any age, this is a good-looking leg. And also take a look at his arms, I mean, he's not small upstairs, he's actually bigger upstairs, I think his upper body is bigger, fuller, rounder, so it's impressive how much muscle Jay Cutler managed to maintain. Again, I'm not sure why is that the case. Look at the size of the chest, man, and the shoulders and the arms, the forearms, the legs. I mean, he has a lot of mass. He did not lose all of it, <laughs> not even close. And I don't know what's the secret. Is it, again, hard training, eating a lot of food, still doing cycles? I don't know, maybe he's doing cycles still. I know Milo Sharchev is still doing cycles. Last time he competed was in 1999, and... 22 years later, he's still on it. He just loves to look good. And uh, he, he does the cycles from time to time. He's training hard. He's eating properly. He's doing everything. And this is why he looks so impressive. At the age of 57, guys. 57. He's almost 10 years older than Jay Cutler. And he looks like this. But that's Milos. Let's leave him out. I mean, he, he is a maniac. He loves to train. He loves to eat like a bodybuilder. He loves everything about it. He just loves bodybuilding. And I think that's the main reason why he looks like that. But I'm curious how Jay Cutler managed to maintain so much, this much mass. And for example, Dennis Wolf right here didn't. What is the reason behind it? Are these guys trying to downsize actively and they just stop eating? They do a lot of fasting? Or did they just go completely off and the other guys who maintained muscle like Milos and Jay are using more gear? Or are they just simply eating a lot, training harder? I don't know, I'm curious. Or is it mainly genetic? I feel like genetics are playing the biggest role in this. I feel like Dennis Wolf had crazy metabolism and he needed to eat so much food to grow as much as he did and to maintain all that muscle he needs to eat like a maniac, which is something he obviously doesn't want to do now when he's retired and that's why he lost the size. And Jay Cutler might be enjoying it more has better genetics, maybe he's eating, maybe he is a bigger eater, maybe he is healthier than Dennis and he doesn't need to downsize for health reasons, who the hell knows, be my guest, tell me what you think, but Jay Cutler right now looks pretty freaking great. And what Kai Green looks like now, five years after retiring, <laughs> this is what he looks like right now, and I said after retiring because if I told you guys that he might be doing a comeback, you would get all mad about it, so... So I guess it should be fine, I should be alright, talking about Kai Green like he's retired. And he probably actually is. There are no signs of him competing ever again, it's been 5 years since his last show, and this is what he looks like right now, the most recent physique update. Look at that left arm, it atrophied, I mean especially the forearms. 
his forearms are pretty much gone. He was always known for having weaker forearms, but right now they, they look pretty much non-existent. And also like the arms, especially that lower area near the forearm where the bicep and tricep insert. So it looks like he, he melted a little bit. And uh, he's not a youngster anymore. I mean, Kai Green, not even close. He's actually 46 years old and that's only two years younger than Jay Cutler. So it's it's probably, I mean, his time is probably gone. There are so many great prospects, so many great young bodybuilders who are dominating bodybuilding stages and they're looking fresh, they're looking, they're, they're hungry, they're looking great. And if Kai Green came back, I don't know if he could fight guys like Nick Walker or Hunter Labrada or Ian Valier or Joaquin Williams. I think these guys are way more fresh. So I mean, based on this video especially, I think Kai Green is pretty much done. I mean, I, I talked about a comeback many times before and he made it seem like he might do it. And I really wanted to see it, but now, based on this video and everything considered, I think high green time is, is over. It's, it's done. At least on this video, he does not look like he can win a pro show. No. I mean, it's not really... I mean, he's not posing or anything that I can actually uh, be sure about how much can he actually do on a bodybuilding stage, but... You know, I guess you can grasp as well that he's that he's starting to melt away, slowly but certainly. So Kai Green comeback most likely won't happen. Even if it happened, it would probably be rather a disaster than a success. Would old, melted, broken up Kai Green be able to beat this fresh-looking youngster Regan Grimes? I don't know, but I think that's a more fair comparison than comparing him against, like, freaking Nick Walker and Hunter Labrada and the other guys in the top five. I think Kai Green's days are gone. They're, they're, he's done. And this is something that he could potentially face and beat. But I don't know. I don't know about that because Regan right here looks really good. He's asking us to guess his weight here and Jay Cutler guesses 290. I think he's being a little bit uh, generous. I think uh, Regan is probably 280, which is also impressive. But I don't know, maybe he actually got bigger, maybe he got fuller. I don't know what the plan is, what Milo Sharchu is planning on doing with Regan. They're 11 weeks out of Arnold Classics, so there's been only one week of them working together. What did they do in that one week? Did Milo started cutting, or did he give him a bunch of insulin and a lot of food and just made him fuller and big? I don't know, but he does look big and full, that's for sure. Is it because he lost some body fat, he got a good pump and he looks like that under, under good lighting? Or is it actually that he actually gained some muscle? If he actually gained, then he's 290 and over. Because the last time he, he updated us, he was around 290. So this guy is a, he's a freak, surely. I mean, he's a taller guy, so he is not a small bodybuilder. He's one of the bigger guys. And it's all about the conditioning, the maturity that he needs to bring to the stage if he wants to do really well. Now, after seeing the lineup, I don't really, I'm not really that optimistic for Regan to win the Arnold Classic against Brandon Curry, William Bonek, and the others. But cracking the top five at this Arnold would be an insane success. And that's probably something he's aiming, you know. Cracking a top five at such a high level show with so many great competitors. It would definitely launch his career uh, like crazy. It would definitely be a great thing for him. It would be it would be a game changer for sure. If he did that top five with this Arnold, and then he has more time to improve before the Mr. Olympia, I feel like this can be a really successful year for Regan if he goes from like a third third tier bodybuilder to second, very close to first tier bodybuilder. He has all the tools he needs. He just needs to come sharper, harder, bigger, fuller, more matured, more conditioned, which is definitely easier said than done, but let's hope he does that, because if he does, he can be a huge upset this year. You know what? I would love to see Thor Bjornsson in a classic physique stage at the Arnold Classic. They should invite this guy if he wanted to compete. <laughs> just kidding. That's probably not gonna happen, but uh, look, I mean, he, he got shredded. He got lean. He looks very athletic now. He was one of the biggest human beings on the planet at one point when he was the strongest man in the world. Now, it's completely different. Look at those abs and look at what Milo Sharchu commented. Incredible physique, super flat stomach, super deep abs. 
So he's admiring this midsection. It definitely does look very aesthetic. It looks great. So he, he still kept quite a lot of muscle. He didn't lose a lot and he actually got lean. So he's definitely way healthier like this than what it was when he was competing as a strongman, weighing over 400 freaking pounds. So right now he's definitely much lighter and his abs look pretty good. I mean, he has a great uh, abdominal structure. So if this guy decides to do a bodybuilding show, it should be, I, I guess he should do the classic physique. I don't know what is the weight of his and what is the weight cap, but I think classic is for him. I wouldn't say man's physique. It's, it's not for a strong man to do a man's physique. But classic physique is definitely more like it for Thor. Bodybuilding, open bodybuilding is definitely the, 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 the most suitable for him, but he doesn't have enough muscle. No, so classic physique. And I'm just joking, I know he's not gonna be competing in any bodybuilding show. If he wanted to, I would suggest classic physique. It would be really interesting to see. Have Thurm Bjornsson, the strong man, the strongest man in the world, uh, to actually do a bodybuilding show in classic physique. Imagine that. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And for more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye-bye.